Hello everyone and welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie the CDC Stonefly. What I have here in the vise is a Tiemco 103. The thread I'm using is the Nano Silk from Samplefly in beige. I'm almost out of it again, but this will do for this fly. And the size of the hook is a size 14. So what I'll do is to start right near the eye, just put down a few turns the thread just to catch it and start making the wraps. Don't just pull it off or it would need a lot of strength. So the easiest way is just to cut it off and I almost forgot. Here we want to stay about at a half point and this is only because we're going to tie in our first material and this is some moose body hair. It's like deer hair with a much stiffer fibers and longer as well and these ones have this or in this really dark color so it makes perfect sense to use them for a black uh, stonefly yeah, I didn't mention that but this one is going to be a really dark stonefly just take out the measure for the tails so these are going to be the tails and I want these to be about half or slightly longer than the length of the whole hook. And I'm going to tie this in on my way down. And this is to reduce the bulk on the fly. And one little trick is to keep them at a slight upwards angle as you tie them down. And this will make sure these stay right in the center. Then one turn underneath, one in between coming from underneath, and then one in between coming up from over, and then one turn just to lock this in place. And there we have our tails nicely split. Now we can cut off the ends. And these you should cut off about the length of the body. Next I'm going to take some black CDC. This is CDC that has been dyed in black. You could also use some natural dark grey one. So here what I'll do is I'll use the Marc Petitjean technique for doing bodies. And this is using only one single CDC feather. So what you do is you take two loose turns about you catch all the CDC fibers and then you pull the feather so you just have the tips remaining then you tie these down and at the same time we're going to move our thread up to just a few millimeters behind the eye and here you can choose how long you want your body you could use cycle pliers for this or just your hands and I'm going to spin the feather and I'm also going to wind this up and here I'm doing touching turns and this will make for a, as you go the feather will become thicker and thicker and this will make for a tapered body and it will also make for a segmented one so with one single CDC feather you can do all this once you reach the thread I'm going to do a few quite heavy turns to bind this down, then cut off. And here we have all these fibers sticking out, and if you don't want to have these and have a nice neat body, you can just come in with the scissors and cut these off. And make sure not to cut the tails off. The antennas on a Goddard Caddis, you could always just re-add them if you would have the misfortune to cut them off. But here it's a little bit more tricky, so we will try not to do it. And up till now was the easy part of the fly. And now when it comes to tying in the wings, I'm going to choose two white CDC feathers. And these have been 
bleached, I presume. For this tying procedure, it's a little bit tricky, but once you get a hold of it, it's quite easy. So, what you do is you place your two feathers, you align the tips, place them with both concaves side facing the same direction, and uh, I'm going to grab just the tip of the two feathers and I'm going to pull down and here the first ones are a little bit too short for what we want to do but when you come just a little bit down they're going to be longer and longer and here you can already see kind of a wing form so holding it like this I'm going to use my left hand to tie it in and here you want to make just one quite loose turn then I'll make a second one and to get the wings in place and the right length I'm just going to pull a few heavy turns just to tie this down and oh, I forget to mention but here I like the wing to extend just to the half point on the tail. Here, what we can do is to cut the wings off to length, and here I have one stray fiber as well. And now we have these two wings just right on each other. A few more turns just to bind this down, and then I'm going to lift the two CDC feathers up straight and cut these off. And these ones, if you're not too far down, you could use for a second fly. And as I tie this off this way, or cut off the tails this way, I'm going to be left with a lot of CDC sticking right forward. And this can be just pulled back and a few turns over, sure you get everything and nicely secured, leaning towards the back. This will give a little bit more life to the fly, or a more lifelike appearance with a little bit of these longer fibers sticking out towards the back. So from underneath, if you can see here, we have the wings. You could split these just slightly. But usually on the adult stoneflies, they have both their wings just superposed, like these are right here. And the main reason to use two feathers for this is just to give it a little bit more floatability. But if you would like to, you could also just use one CC feather. This would be maybe a little bit easier. And now we're almost done with the tying. There are only two materials left that we are going to tie in. The first one is going to be exactly the same material as for the tails, but this time they're going to be antenna, antennae, antennas. And these I'm going to tie in exactly the same way, but exactly the opposite direction. Just a few loose turns, and this way you can control how long these are. And here you can choose, I like them to be about the same length as the tails. A few turns, just to make sure these stay in place. And we're going to tie in the thorax and to stay true to the whole CDC theme we have going here. This is going to be made out of exactly the same CDC as for the body. This time we're not going to use the stem, but only the fibers. So for this I'm going to use the magic tool. So I've now prepped my feather and have all these fibers in the clip. And to attach this to the hook I'm going to use the split thread technique. So you spin your bobbin counterclockwise, then take your dubbing needle and just going to split the thread in two. This will allow us to insert 
the dubbing or in this case the CDC. It's a really neat technique to help. We have the CDC trapped between our two strands of thread. And to start this off, I'm going to spin it just between my fingers. This way, it's a little bit more secure when you start to spin the bobbin. Once you feel you've got enough turns, you just push them up. You want to dub or to wind on a little CDC thorax. And as we had some white CDC underneath, make sure to cover all this up and there I think I've done it so then we can pull back all materials the antennas as well and I'm just going to make a few turns right behind the eye last thing to do is to whip finish and just pulling back all materials Three turns, pull tight, and cut off. If you think you have some fibers that are just a little bit too long, just reach in with your scissors and cut these off. But this one, I think, turned out pretty well. And I like to have a little bit of these longer CDC fibers as well, just to give it a little movement on the water, just not to make it so stale. So there we have the CDC Stonefly. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and happy time!